people are there to see all of your music, but you know it, you know, they want to sing along to everybody's working for the weekend. And that's got to just, I mean, it's such a good time because people truly, it's become a catchphrase. It's a lexicon. It's an iconic word that we use. You know, people constantly will be like, ah, everybody's working for the weekend. And then you have a song about it. You know, Is it satisfying to play that at the end of the night? Are you kidding me? It's like, it's, I, I kind of look forward to it myself. When I hear that cowbell, I go out of my, I go out of my mind. Um, and another thing is, do you think, yeah, do you think we should play that this, this summer? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. People would riot if you didn't play it, right? And, and where they head back. Yes, this is it. <laughs> I, we're getting, a, I feel like you're about to start singing to me. You're going to, you're going to serenade me. I know it. Everybody's what? I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm so, I'm just totally apt about this tour. Um, and absolutely working for the weekend is a highlight of the, of one of the highlights of the night. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a lot of kind of um, uh, notable songs. We Turn Me Loose was a big, big yeah, you know, uh, right out of the bat. You know, we, we had lots of great songs, lots of great videos. I think a lot of it was because MTV was around the first week they were open. Loverboy handed them three videos, you know, so right off the bat, we had a good arrangement with MTV because, you know, they needed a whole bunch of music and we offered it to them. Well, I mean, and then there's also just stuff that you've done uh, aside from Loverboy. Um, I have to admit, Mike, and this is probably really embarrassing as a rock and roll journalist, but for some reason, I did not know that that was you duetting with Ann Wilson on Almost Paradise uh, using the Footloose movie in 1984. I, I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was just so obsessed with Kevin Bacon that I like had <laughs> blinders on and nothing else mattered. But that song is just so dang good. Tell me what it was like to be in the recording studio with Ann Wilson. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, it was a one day deal. We kind of just did it one take. It was one of those magic moments where I got up, she got up, we looked in the same microphone, faced each other and sang the song once. And the producer, Keith, also went, that's perfect, thank you guys. You know, and that doesn't happen very often that you get it in one take, you know. There's usually a lot more involved when you record a song than one take. But uh, she's a true, true professional. And she was uh, my first pick, by the way. She's a fabulous singer. She's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. And, she's um, rock and roll royalty, that's for sure. Absolutely. And you know, the, a lot of the guys don't know this, but a lot of people don't know this, but they lived in Vancouver for about 12 years. And so we got to know them very well. They used to play in all the nightclubs and stuff before they got the record deal. And so they were like a, 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 a state, that's where we all went. We went yeah. there weekend to see them wherever they were playing. We drag ourselves over there and we just rock. And they, they used to play a lot of great, uh, and then they started writing songs and it was fabulous. 